Hey guys, Drew here from the Hey guys, Drew here from the Guitar Brothers Company. Um, I know it's been a very long time. The first time I actually shot this video was back in August. It was like the, the next week after I'd uploaded the last one. But then uh, I got it uploaded to my computer, um, about halfway edited, and then the computer just died forever. So then I got depressed and didn't make a video for six months. Uh, until two days ago when I shot this video for the second time, and then the entire memory card corrupted, so I had to format that. And now we're here, hopefully the third time. If you're watching this, um, I guess be happy, because it finally made it. <laughs> Alright, so guys, today we're going to go over uh, New Orleans section of Digging Your Dreams through the end of the song. We're finally going to get it done. We can move on. You guys probably already learned the rest of the song by now because it's been like six months, but still. Alright, so guys, we're going to come into this section uh, off that G chord. They're just holding out, letting it ring. And then Drew's going to come in with his lead riff. Alright, and what that is, is we're going to slide up. We're going to slide up, I like to use my ring finger, to the 7th fret of our A string. Then we're going to play the 5th fret and the 7th fret of our D string. So, and it's real swing time, you know, it's just got that New Orleans feel. Then we're going to hold down our 5th fret of our G and B strings, bend both together just a little bit. It's like a, what they call a quarter bend, it's this kind of a bluesy thing where you're not bending up a whole half step like... You're, you're just bending up a quarter step. And if you can tell, it's a little bit off pitch, but it's not like, you know, to a new real pitch. So. Then we're going to do the same thing, play our uh, fifth fret and our seventh fret of our D string again. And then the same bend. Again. And then this last time, we're going to do a unison bend here with our ring finger on the 7th fret of our G string and our 1st finger on the 5th fret of our B, B string, yes. So. And so I've been over this in a couple uh, previous videos, Drew Shirley really likes to do this, but um, what, what he's doing is he is holding the 5th fret of the B string steady while he bends the 7th fret of the G string to the same pitch. And he gets this real nice dissonance in there as the two notes approach each other. So uh, altogether that section slowly is going to go like this. Alright, then he gets into the verse. For the uh, New Orleans verse, there's going to be kind of an interesting chord structure. He's going to be playing three chords only, um, and they are this uh, A major 7. So uh, the way I like to play that, and the way I think John plays it too, you bar here on the 5th fret, but you leave off your uh, pinky finger here that would be on the 7th fret of the D string. So rather than... seventh chord. And when he likes to play these chords is he'll hit the, the bass note kind of softly and then hit the whole chord really hard. So. Is, uh, and he'll just do that for all the chords. Our second chord is going to be D major. Uh, again, I like to do a bar chord and I think John does it the same way. On the fifth fret of the A string. So that's you're barring like this. And if you can fit all your fingers in to do the little A shape bar chord. I can't. Um, if you can do that though, all more power to you. But I just like to bar these three strings with my pinky finger here. Alright, and our last chord is just going to be a regular E major. So the chord structure of this is kind of a call and response, right? So the first chord uh, is first going to be A major, so then the first chord is going to be D. Then the first chord is going to be E. And the callback to each chord is the A major 7, alright? Even the callback to itself. So it's going to get two bars of this. Now we're in the callback, but we're on the same chord. 
since we always call back to the A major 7. So he'll be singing like... So see how it always comes back to that A major 7. And that's going to be the chords for this uh, section. Now to get to uh, Drew's lead lick that he plays during that callback session, because John is... He'll be hitting that A major 7. But Drew, that's when he comes in and plays that. Alright, so uh, it's that same, same little lick we learned at the beginning, where you slide up to the 7th fret of the A string. On the D string, we play the 5th and 7th fret. Uh, the double bend here on our B and G strings, 5th fret. And back to the 7th fret of the D string. So, uh, John, let me play the chords, right? Drew comes in. Then to the D. section in between the two verses, alright? So after the E, when we're calling and responsing, we'll uh, do, do the whole little lick. There are a few uh, little variations that take place during this section. Um, nothing major, just like every so often he'll do a little walk-up before he goes back to the chord. So that's just the 5th, 6th, and 7th fret on his A string. And I think one time he'll play something like this. And that's just uh, basically the same thing. He'll slide up from the 5th fret to the 7th fret, then back to the 5th on his uh, G string. And then bend up on the 7th fret of the G string. Then do the same little walk up. Alright, now when we come to the end of the New Orleans section, we're going to still be playing the same thing basically. But uh, the last time he comes through this riff, instead of swinging it so hard, He's gonna play it real straight. Like, like it goes from swung to straighter as he plays through the riff. And then John's gonna come in. Those big chords from the last video. The F, C, G. And that should be it for the New Orleans section. Now we're gonna get into the outro. So like I said for the outro, John's playing those big chords. The F. C and the G. And in between, Drew's gonna have these licks he plays. Uh, the first one is gonna go like this. Alright, and what that is, is he's going to bend up one whole step on the 8th fret of the B string. He's gonna bend, hit it once while it's bent, then release the bend. Then hit the 5th fret of our B string here. Okay, and that's the first riff. Now the second riff he's going to play in between those. Over that G chord. He's going to start the same way. But he waits a little bit longer. And then he's going to bend up. On the 7th uh, fret of our high E string here. So. Alright. And that, that bend is, it's going to end but it's going to end indeterminately. Like somewhere between a half step and a whole step. We're just going to kind of cut it off. So. Alright. Now the third lick he plays is going to be a little bit odd sounding at first. It's going to go. And what that is, is he's just going to bend real slowly up on this, uh, 8th fret now of our high E string, then play unbent, then just do a little bend here on the 8th fret of our 
juice B string. So. And now for the fourth time around, he's the fourth time around. He's gonna echo that same sort of thing, but he's gonna come down here on the uh, G string fifth fret. He's gonna bend up, play it unbend, then play the second fret. All right. All right. Now the final time around, the final time through this uh, three chord section, this outro, right after he plays. Without waiting, right as the F chord hits, he's going to slide up to the 3rd fret of his D string. And then right as the C chord hits, he's going to slide right up to the 3rd the fret sorry, of his A string. Then right as that G chord hits, he's going to slide up to the 3rd fret of his low E string. So, as they go the final time through that, he plays. how we finish out the song. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, leave us a like. We really appreciate it. Um, sorry this took so long again. I'm going to actually film a couple more videos today, just so I have them done. Uh, so no excuses on that. Um, if you liked this, subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. And uh, leave comments down below think, telling us what you thought about this video and what you'd like to see in the future. Alright, thanks guys. Oh, my legs. Leg day.